All right, welcome to lesson three of the additional maths course. Okay, today we're going to be focusing on polynomial division. All right, so a polynomial, by the way, is an expression with different powers of x. So for example, x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 is a polynomial of order 3. It's a cubic, okay, it goes up to a power of 3. An x plus 2 is a polynomial of order 1. It's a linear, linear expression, goes up to x to the power of 1. Okay, and we're going to be looking at finding ways of dividing a polynomial like a cubic by something like a linear polynomial. OK, um, you might be even able to go up to dividing a cubic by a quadratic, things like that, using the same skills. Again, reminder, the textbook we're using is this level three freestanding maths qualification, additional maths. Um, <clears throat> it's the official OCR book. And it's perfect for the course. OK, so let's say I wanted to divide x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 by x plus 2. OK, there are a couple of different ways in which um, you might be taught how to do this. One is using a long division, an algebraic long division method. OK, and one is using a grid method. And there, there might be other ways as well. The way I'm going to show is using a grid method. The algebraic long division is a beautiful way of doing it. OK, using the, the big bus stop and um, and showing the whole process out. But I find that students often make mistakes using it. And it's not as accurate. The grid method is brilliant for this, and it um, it allows for fewer mistakes. Okay, and you can see the process really clearly and check afterwards very easily. So, if I want to divide one polynomial by another, I, I I'm going to first start with thinking, well, what does it mean to divide? So, if I have a divided by b, okay, if I want to divide a by b. I'm going to get some answer C. I can rewrite this in a different way. If this is true, if A divided by B is equal to C, then I know that A is equal to C multiplied by B. So if, if one thing is true, then the other thing is true. And I'm going to do the same with this question. I'm actually going to do a multiplication rather than a division. If the cubic divided by the linear gives an answer. Then the answer times the linear will give me the cubic. OK, so in effect, if I wanted to divide x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 by x plus 2, and I would get some answer, instead I'm going to think of what answer multiplied by x plus 2 gives me x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2. So that will look like this. I know that x plus 2 multiplied by the answer to this question will equal the cubic that I started with. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and multiply a linear by something to get a cubic. The first thing to, to, to decide on is if I have a linear and I multiply it by some polynomial to get a cubic, what order is the polynomial that I'm going to multiply by? In order to get a cubic, I'm going to need this here to be a quadratic, because an order two multiplied by an order one will give you an order three. I'm going to need an x squared somewhere, because an x squared times an x will give me the highest power, which is x cubed. So I draw out my grid as follows. I know that I'm going to multiply the linear x plus 2 by a quadratic. A quadratic will have three terms. It'll have the x squared term, it'll have the x term, and it'll have the constant term. OK, so there is my grid. And then once I've set up the grid, it's all a case of deduction. It's all a case of um, just using your common sense and trying to work out uh, problem solving to try and get the answer. This x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 is the result, is, is the bit inside the grid. OK, the result of the multiplication. OK, so I know that this this term here, this part here of the of the quadratic is going to be 
the, the x squared term. And I know that this bit here will be the result of multiplying the x squared term by the x to the power of one term. And so that's gonna give me my x cubed. So I know this is going to be x cubed. Just like I know this part here of the quadratic is the constant. And then the constant times the constant will give me the constant in the answer. So I know this bit should give me two as well, okay? So I can I can deduce various things based on that. Right, I'm gonna start on the top left. I know I need to get x cubed. To get x cubed, I need this bit to be x squared. x squared times x gives me x cubed. At that point, I can think, well, I can fill in more parts of my grid. x squared times two gives me two x squared. But I want five x squared in my answer. That means that this part here of my grid needs to have an amount of x squared such that these two together, okay, so the two parts together here and here need to combine to make five x squared. So I know that this bit will be three x squared. Two x squared and three x squared together is five x squared. So that means once I know that, I know what this is going to be, the x term in my quadratic, because x times what gives me three x squared? It's going to be three x. Three x times x is three x squared. Then I can fill in this part. 3x times 2 is 6x. Again, I now look at this part of the grid and this part of the grid, and together they're going to need to give me 7x. I have 6x already. To get 7x, I need one more x. <clears throat> so this part is going to be x. And then you can think, well, okay, I can deduce now what this is going to be because x times what gives me x? x times one gives me x. And lastly, once I've done that, I can then fill in the bottom right. One times two is two. And that I check, does that give me what I wanted? Yes, it does. Perfect. So that means I have solved it. I have found what I multiply x plus two by to give me the cubic. I found that it is x squared plus 3x plus 1. And hence, I have my answer. I know that x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is equal to x squared and 3x and 1. Okay. So that there is the solution, x squared and 3x and 1. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a question to have a go at. Use the same method. So draw out a grid and try and work through and work out what should be in the grid. I want you to divide x cubed, 8x squared, plus 19x, plus 12. I want you to divide that by x plus three. Okay. So I want you to pause the video, have a go at that question. Okay. When you've got an answer, check it through, check it works, and then I'll give you the answer. So pause the video now. Okay, so the answer to this is firstly, you know that the cubic divided by linear will give you a quadratic because the linear times the quadratic will give you the cubic. So we draw out the grid. X plus three times some quadratic. So the quadratic has three parts, the quadratic part, the, the squared part, the linear part, and the constant. So the top left is going to be x cubed because I've got x cubed there. So that means this has to be x squared. So this has to be three x squared. I want eight x squared, so this needs to be five x squared. That means this has to be five x. 
which means this has to be 15x. I want 19x, so this has to be 4x. So this has to be 4, so this has to be 12. And then I check, does that give me 12? It does. So I have my answer. So the solution is that x cubed plus 8x squared plus 19x plus 12 divided by x plus 3 is equal to x squared and 5x and 4. If you got that right first time, superb. It's okay making the odd error. Okay, now it's time to practice this. So go to the textbook, go to exercise 2.1 in the textbook. So chapter two, the first exercise. The perfect questions to practice this specifically our question is question eight on that exercise. The rest of the exercise is practicing different parts of polynomial algebra. So adding and subtracting and multiplying polynomials together, which are slightly simpler. This is the sort of a more advanced A-level sort of topic. So have a go and check your answers and become more fluent in this. So this becomes a natural process for you to do. Okay, enjoy.